Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel Think Beyond the Brain. Today, we are going to understand about talk about soil pollution. Now, whenever we say, "Oh, here is a lot of pollution," we will see first toward the sky, or we will talk about water. But it's not just over there. We have to always now. We have to also see below our legs, as we are just focusing over there and there. Uh, sometimes seeing upwards, sometimes seeing. At seas, but the dump is also now going on lands. Now, as we are telling people, don't put things in water. They are putting things in far from our cities on ground. So it's not good. As animals over there also, terrestrial animals will go over there. They can eat over there something plastic as for food. Then. Because of it, people living in rural rural areas will have problem over there. So, because of this, there is a lot of problem in soil pollution also. So today we are going to learn about what is soil pollution, what are the types of soil pollution, what are the causes, and how we can prevent it. Before starting, like our video, share our video, and subscribe our channel and tap the bell icon for the future video notification. So. Let's get started. Now, soil pollution. We tend to look skywards when talking about pollution, but this problem is not confined to our skies. The soil is which our fruit and vegetables is also suffering its consequences. The effects of which getting to us directly, for instance, through the aforementioned foodstuffs. The time has come to look. After what lies under our feet. So today we will talk about what is soil pollution, what are the types of soil pollution, effects of soil pollution, and how to reduce soil pollution. So what is soil pollution? This visible affliction appears when the concentration of pollutants on the surface becomes so high that it harms the land biodiversely. And endangers health, particularly through food activities such as stock breeding and intensive farming, use chemicals, pesticides, and fertilizers that pollute the land, just as happens with heavy metals and other natural and man-made chemical substances. Soil pollution is a global threat that is particularly Serious in regions like Europe, Eurasia, Asia, and North Africa, as indicated by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United States (FAO). The FAO also affirms that both intense and even moderate degradation is also affecting one third of the world's soil. Moreover, recovery is so slow that it would take one thousand years to create a centimeter. Layer of arable soil. Then, as I told, there are two types of soil pollution. First, specific pollution, and second, widespread pollution. Now, specific pollution, as accounted for by particular causes occurring in small areas, the reason for which can be easily identified. Land pollution. Such as these normally found in cities, old factory sites, around roadways, illegal dumps, and sewage treatment stations. Now, as I told, specific pollution. Now, in this specific pollution, it is done normally, such as it is not a big harm to us, but then also, as it is garbage on the road. Sometimes on the roads there is a lot of garbage. At the side, at the corner of it, then sometimes if some places near our houses where there was some factory or something over there, then it was not there. Uh, so over there, there would be a lot of garbage. Then like people just throw. Sometimes a lot of people just throw a lot of garbage at any place over there. Then where sewage treatment stations are there, so it's a big problem. Then widespread pollution covers 
extensive areas and has several causes the reasons for which are difficult to identify cases such as these involve the spreading of pollutants by air ground and water systems and seriously affect human health and the environment now this widespread pollution as widespread pollution means from the word only we can understand a wide spread it has spread all over widely means there is a lot of garbage in one place a lot of as we cannot see all them in one position because there is a lot of garbage at that place as anything in our cities water garbage the garbage trucks is collected they come at this place and throw over there so this also can contact this also makes soil pollution as the plastic can be in a cities or can be in any land position anywhere pollution is done as this thing is not should be kept over there these things we can recycle again and again then effects now it can be damaged to our health soil pollutants enter a body through the food chain causing illness to appear moreover the spread of antibiotics in the environment increase the pathogens resistance to these drugs now whatever we do in the farm these all we can put fertilizers we put fertilizers pesticides these all so they can come in our food then whatever we people just throw on the roads that because of water goes into sewage then from sewage into the seas and then from seas again that water is come to farm and because that whatever there was in the sewage is gone into sea and that only sea has again came into the food as for giving water to plants so the whatever is starting everything is going in a circle and coming again to us only so to not do plastic you have to not throw anything over here and there it can be not only for you for all others also then poor harvest now as a lot of soil if the soil is not good over there then it can be not good for the plants as the harvest whatever is grown over there will not come in a good quality and good quantity soil pollution agents jeopardize world food security by reducing the amount soil pollution agents jeopardize world food security by reducing the amount and quality of harvests then climate change as due to the soil pollution the climate it is affected on a climate also in the first decade of the 21st century soil degradation released between 3.6 and 4.4 billion tons of co2 in the atmosphere means carbon dioxide it can be not harm for others also harm for us as it is not good carbon dioxide is a venom for us and it is not good as if carbon dioxide as whatever we are thrown some people burn them or whatever waste is there from in that is not good for us our soil our water our air our animals everything then water and air pollution now these two are different things but it also has a connection with other pollutions like soil pollution noise pollution water is connected to air pollution everything soil degradation affects the quality of air and water particularly in developing countries now if soil is polluted it will go in water by water ways then if soil is not good then if it is burn or anything happens to that particular plastic like thing then it will be problem smoke or air means everything is there for everything as if it is water pollution and because animals will die a lot of bad thing will be there in air pollution then what happens in water that only they is coming to our soil to our food means everything is connected to every pollution then comes Pollu population displacement. 
Soil degradation and climate change will have driven between 50 and 700 million people to emigrate by 2050. Means because of this soil pollution, scientists are saying that between 50 to 17, 700 million can die, can emigrate by 2050 because of this soil pollution. Then because of soil pollution, species are also leading to extinction. Soil contamination is one of the main causes that could trigger the sixth mass extinction event in history. Population of giant vertebrates fell by 38% between 970 till 2012. Now because of this, because of this soil pollution, animals are getting in danger as because of the soil pollution, because of difference of soil, there is problem in climate, then it will not go as for this soil, this particular soil, not every, every, person, every animal is suitable as hippopotamus needs a wet area. So they cannot live like in deserts like sand. It is hard for them. Then giraffe. Giraffes can also not live like in cold areas a lot. So, and because of this soil, the climate is changing. As the soil makes plants also good or bad. As these plants are not suitable in this type of soil and it is not suitable in this type of soil, the food will be not good. And if the food is not good given from that plant, animals can also not live. And it will also be as the animals are fond to that soil. As if you are fond to some teacher or that, but that teacher has gone. Some other teacher came to teach. We will not understand a lot from them. As we have an habit and hobby like thing with hearing from that and understanding from that teacher. Then, desertification. The number of inhabitants in the most arid areas of the earth would account for 45% of the world's population of in 2050. While world wetland areas have decreased in size by 87% over the last three centuries. Now, if we see across this world, many people are inhabited. So if we will see 45% of the world's whole world's population can be counted as they have not have good habitats, good houses. They have to live at these places where there is a lot of junk. So it's not good for them. As you can see that if we would be there, you know, how we could feel? We can just imagine. Economic impact. The global economic losses caused by soil degradation are expected to exceed 10% of the world's annual gross domestic product, G GDP. Now, because of this, it could be a wrong, it could be not good for our income source. As many people work on, many people just do work on how the climate is. As you can say, because of this coronavirus, how it has become, because the place is not good, bats and diesel. So it's not good. As if that place is not good over there. So some or some other disease will come from that place. And if some other disease has come from that place, it will go to another person. Then because of that person to other, then to other, then to other, and then to other. It can be a lot more problem. And if it becomes a problem, then it can lose, it can harm in our economic, in our money getting source. Economic impact. Then now how we can prevent soil pollution. So eat sustainable foodstuffs, properly recycle batteries, produce homemade compost and dispose of drugs in the places authorized for this purpose. As now some, some places that there are some other, other things happen, so dust is over there, some other things, garbage is over there. So we have to not put, we have to recycle them as if we can put everything in plastic, plastic thing. Then some people will, when they will take that, all that thing, then they will just take the plastic, then they can do something from it. They can make something from that plastic again. So it will not good. It will not be only good for the other people's also good for you. As if it is pollution, it will not good for you also.
encourage a more eco-friendly model for industry, farming, stock breeding, among other economic activities. As water, you can encourage yourself to do more eco-friendly things. As if some if someone in your house, someone others are in some industry over there, they cannot they can use a lot eco-friendly substances like eco-friendly things now. If they are in factory, some or other work will be there only in which smoke will provide. So how we can replace that thing? Some other thing will be there. So how to replace it? Then improve urban planning and transport planning and wastewater treatment. As whatever dump is over there, whatever urban planning is there means whatever rural area is over there, how we cannot make that make that place good. Then transport, we can make the transport very good as no one can throw over there. We can make dustbins at some, some places where the people by walking, whatever they are eating, they can throw over there. And waste water, water, water is not wasted over there. You can make a proper, you can tell that your officials at that place, officials to make a proper wastewater treatment. Then improve the management of mining waste, restore and landscape and conserve topsoil as the topsoil is the most fertile soil. And involve local communities and indigenous people in the design, implementation and assessment of sustainable land and soil management. So soil pollution. Today, we have learned about soil pollution. What is soil pollution? What are the effects of soil pollution? What, what are the types of soil pollution? and how to prevent soil pollution. So make sure that you use these things as it is not good only for yourself, not only for, our, for us, for ourselves, not only for others, it's for everyone overall this world. So now before leaving, if you think that our knowledge was good, soil pollution topic was good, please like our video, share our video, and subscribe our channel, and tap the bell icon for the future videos notification. Thank you for watching our video till the end. Bye-bye.